Good afternoon. My name is Harrison Nathai. Welcome to another episode from Aspire Food Service Standards, a UK approved training centre to provide UK accredited certified food safety programs from UK. Today we are going to share with you a new episode on personality. We take this program to dedicate to our brothers and sisters who have been hardly hit by the COVID-19 and especially those who work at the hospitality and food business operations. So we dedicate this program to you and we hope you're keeping safe. We hope God has protected you and it's about time for us to reconnect again on another episode. So high standards of personal hygiene are very important are essential to reduce foodborne illness in our food businesses and is also a prerequisite for a food safety management system like us in our food business. So for us to provide safe food, personal hygiene is really essential. It is also essential uh, to prevent contamination and risk. Some of the risk contamination are some of the low dose microorganisms that could get to food through a food handler. And those are, for example, E. coli 0157, uh, hepatitis C, Cafilobacter, Shigella, uh, and so on. So it is essential for us to practice personal hygiene in our food businesses. Uh, it is a management responsibility and duty to ensure that proper personal hygiene is maintained and it is done in the full business operation. As a business owner, as a business manager, you have to ensure that happens because by doing so, it helps to break the contamination and also to break any um, uh, microorganisms that could get the food. So, the law, CAP 254, CAP 262, that uh, governs the food businesses in Kenya and the industry recommend people who work uh, in food business as food handlers to maintain the high standard of cleanliness. Good possible hygiene practices involve, among other things, uh, wearing clean clothes, maintaining proper uh, hygiene in terms of washing your body, and also practicing good hygiene practices within the food and protecting food from any contamination. Some of the things that we do to ensure that happens is that we should not smoke in the food businesses. We should not chew in food businesses. We should not do nail bite. We should not. Uh, uh, we should not also uh, chew sweets in food businesses. We should not taste food with our hands as well. So and ensure as well that we use proper uh, dresses, waterproof dresses to cover our hands. That is some of the things that we do in terms of personal hygiene. For us to understand personal hygiene, I want us to discuss the human skin because the skin is a critical in terms of ensuring that uh, personal hygiene is effective. So, a human skin, a few facts about it. It is the largest organ of the body. Actually, it is the largest organ of the excretory uh, system that our human body has. Uh, the surface area of our uh, skin is around 1.5 to 2 meters square, depending on the size of the person. And it also weighs around 3.5 to 10 kilograms, so it's quite big. And most parts of the skin are thin as paper, you know, a piece of paper. Uh, the skin is very important because it protects the organs from infections, from injury, and from the sun. 
skin also regulates uh, the body temperature and it provides the secure environment for your nerves, for the blood and also for the hair. So the human skin is divided into three sections. The top one, the surface is called the epidermis and then there is the inner one called the dermis and then there is hypodermis which has the fat tissues. The reason for us to know about the surface layer is that the human skin has a lot of cracks and crevices and this provide a good harborage of a lot of microorganisms or bacteria around it. And the human hand has around a million microorganisms which could range between bacteria, fungi, viruses and stuff like that. And we have there are two types of uh, residual um, bacteria. We have the resident skin from the useful bacteria which is found on your skin to help you protect, to move as well. And that kind of bacteria is Staphylococcus aureus. It's an example of a residual skin from it. We also have a transient uh, skin from a tourist that comes in, it doesn't stay there, but comes in and it transfers uh, uh, by touching a system there uh, temporarily and it causes infection. An example of such a bacteria is salmonella. This is normally found uh, by people who work with raw food. A person working in a butcher, like a butcher, butcher might be exposed to raw food, to this kind of bacteria, the salmonella, and you normally have, uh, uh, have the salmonella on the skin. So, with each hand step, the bacteria are spread millions and millions. You know, when you touch surfaces, when you touch yourself, millions and millions of bacteria will be transferred. And uh, remember, bacteria are Tactic. It means they don't move on their own, although they are living, they cannot move on their own. They are static and they require the human body, the human hands, to move from point A to point B. So when you touch bacteria in a contaminated area, you transfer it to one place to another. And that is something else that you need to remember. When you go to the toilet, you touch your skin, you touch your body, you get bacteria on your hands and if you touch a food contact area or you touch food, you transfer the bacteria to that area. So skin hygiene is hand hygiene. By practicing skin hygiene, we are sure to preserve health. It means that we will not have food poisoning illness. It means also we are going to prevent diseases. It is also going to help us to keep productivity and effective, you know, efficiency, efficiency in our operations. And by preventing diseases, we also reduces absenteeism in our businesses. So hand washing is the uh, simplest and the most effective way to reduce the spread of infectious diseases. Even at this time where we have the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the recommendations to reduce the spread of COVID-19 virus is to do proper or frequent hand washing. Proper hand washing will only take 20 seconds and the more regular you wash your hands, the more of the less bad So it is important for us to wash our hands and wash our hands properly. We have a few facts about hand washing. Uh, an average person visits the toilet six to eight times a day. It means that 2,500 times a year. So we cannot avoid visiting the toilet. But remember, when you visit the toilet, when you do your business, you touch your skin, you touch yourself, definitely you can transfer the microorganism, the staphylococcus 
aureus that the bacteria that lives in your skin or the one that lives in your stomach like E. coli 0157 into your hands and if you touch food definitely this is going to cause illness so a few facts about hand washing only 73 percent of people according to the research wash their hands after visiting the toilet 73 percent so a massive 23 percent don't wash a quarter of these will not wash their hands after I know, afterwards and many who wash that they don't do it adequately you know they do it in an a way that does not sufficiently take away the microorganism or the germs that could be in their hands. So how do we wash our hands? We do our wash our hands using five steps. The first step, you go to a hand washing sink, open the tap, and you wet your hands. Once you wet your hands, squeeze the soap or take the soap from the soap dispenser. 2 to 3 ml of pro soap. For food businesses, we normally recommend to use non perfumed approved soap, normally antibacterial. The non perfume is critical. When you use perfumed soap, you're going to have perfume into your hand grains, and this can contaminate food chemically. It taints the food. So we recommend to use our perfumed soap. You wrap the soap like that. As you wrap the soap, what do you do? You create friction. Friction creates heat. Heat activates the chemical in the soap. And that means the lather will come out and it helps to reactivate the components of the soap which helps to remove the dirt faster. And then you wash the back of the hands like that, you wash on the other bar, you wash the wrist, the wrist at the thumb like that, and only after washing, taking around 10 to 15 seconds, then you open the tap. Rinse your hands thoroughly, remove all the soaps and the residues, and after removing the soap, take the paper towel and dry your hands. Remember, you're drying your hands, you did not close the tap. Then using the paper towel, close the tap. We use the paper towel to close the tap so that we do not decontaminate the hands again. Remember, when you open the tap, you had soap and you had the bacteria on your hands. So when you open at the knob of the tap, you are going to have those bacteria again. So if you rinse the hand and then you close the tap with your bare hands, you are going to recontaminate your hands. So it's important for us to use the paper towel. Paper towels are critical in hand washing. For a hand washing uh, station, the management as a manager, as a food uh, business operator, as an owner, you have to ensure you provide sufficient supplies that can ensure proper hand washing is happening in your food business. So soap, running water, paper towel and waste bin are critical for our hand washing station. So it is important for us to do that. And as we do that, and as we keep saying, we provide safe food to our customers, we prevent contamination, and we, we, we break the chain. Remember, hand washing will break the chain of contamination. Hand washing it is going to help to prevent the bacteria moving from point A to point B. It is important for us, even during the COVID-19 time, to keep on washing our hands and washing our hands properly. Thank you very much. That's enough for today. Uh, until next time, I see you. Bye-bye.